This is the worst looking system that I could find on my local Craigslist. And I don't mean in terms of like price to performance or whatever. I mean actual condition of the system. Going by the pictures online, I am convinced that there is some endangered wildlife living in the system. Uh, so what we're going to do in today's video is I'm going to open it up and we're going to have a bit of a gag at the inside. And then I'm going to clean it up and turn it into something a little bit more presentable. But before we get into that, it's time for today's video sponsor that helped pay for this wildlife sanctuary. Today's video is sponsored by Manscaped of Performance Package Hedge Trimmer fame. Manscaped has just launched their brand new ultra premium luxury body wash, which is a shower gel that's infused with aloe vera and sea salt, meaning it can handle even the toughest David cheese. And just like all liquid products in the Manscaped collection, it has cologne quality fragrance that smells like man. The new refined shower gel comes in a 16 ounce aluminium bottle and you can get a replenished discount so that you never have to worry about running out of shower gel. If all of this sounds good to you, use my Manscaped link in the description below to get 20% off your order plus free international shipping. And while you're there, why don't you also pick up a lawnmower 4.0 for all your trimming needs. Thank you very much Manscaped for sponsoring today's video. For today's PC cleaning, I'm gonna use my go-to glove brand, Valida Fresh Comfort. Not only do they keep your hands fresh and comfortable, but they offer a solid barrier between your fingies and the PC gonorrhea. Ah, that feels like Valida quality. Valida, the only glove glove brand for me. Now the guy that I bought this system from was actually really nice. We had a lovely conversation while we were waiting for the payment to go through. I actually really hope he doesn't see this video. But anyway, he told me that he cleaned the outside of the system before selling it, which just has to be a lie. Because I don't know what the hell kind of cleaning they were doing that left these suspicious man juice looking stains on the top. But other than the couple stains, it is just very dusty on the outside. Uh, so let's open it up and see what kind of animals we can find living inside. Oh, there we go, and... Oh... That is a very dusty PC, but the thing that concerns me the most about it is that there are spider webs all over the place. Now the spider webs in themselves isn't concerning, it's just that I can't... I can't find the spider. And considering that I left the system without the side panel open overnight in the office, I think that I may now be living with a new spider, which, which is not ideal. Now, the thing that you'll notice immediately after the suspicious lack of spiders in the system is that the cable management is genuinely shocking. This case does actually have behind the motherboard tray uh, cable routing options, but they just completely ignored it. But anyway, let's quickly walk through the components that we have in this spider sanctuary. Now under this EVGA AIO, we have an Intel i5 4670K with what I think is 24 gigs of RAM, but we'll have a closer look at that later. Uh, the motherboard is an ASRock Fatality Z97 board, so you can see there, Mr. Fatality's name very proudly displayed on the motherboard. Uh, in terms of the graphics card, we have a PNY GTX 1060. Now, according to the guy, this was actually a graphics card that he got as a warranty replacement for a GTX 960, and he says that it's very, very lightly used. Moving down to the power supply, we have a real beast, a 1050 watt XFX unit which seems to have suffered the brunt of the dust collection. It is a real dirty boy. Now technically the power supply is in here upside down because the case does actually have ventilation in the bottom for the power supply, but if they were running the system on a carpet, it would make sense to run it this way around. And then in terms of SSD, we have a drive that's quite difficult to identify due to what looks like volcano eruption debris, but it looks, it looks like it's a Samsung drive of some description. But other than that, I think it's time to start disassembling the system, cleaning one part at a time and, and see how we can salvage the system. Hey, that is by no means a clean graphics card, but it's definitely not the worst I've seen. So yeah, let's let's dig a bit deeper. Ooh, there's like a hidden M.2 drive under that graphics card. That's an exciting find. I love how the CPU power cable is just like routed through the front here. <laughs> that's, that's always hilarious, but yeah, let's. 
These cables are stuck between the, the RAM. Oh, there we go, it's out. We can get these cables down. Ooh, they really went to town on the thermal paste, but rather more than too little, I always say. Now next up, I wanna remove the rest of the AIO so that we can relatively easily remove the motherboard from the case. I think we're good here. Oh, yeah, there we go, oof. Oh, ooh, the back just came off, look at that, ew. Oh, I found the spider! Oh no, I don't think the spider's made it. That is the corpse of a spider if I've ever seen one. Rest in peace, little PC spider. Although it really had a nice home for itself in here. Look at all that web going on here. That is some luxurious inside of PC spider house we've got going in here. Now I've actually run into a bit of a problem with this top panel because in order to get it off you need to undo these little clips on the inside and there just happens to be one underneath the spider grave which means I'm gonna have to just blindly stick my finger in there which feels a little bit like corpse desecration to me but at least I'm wearing these dry comfort Valida latex gloves to protect me. Oh sorry little spider buddy I'm just gonna try and be really gentle. There we go. A oh, oh, things sounded like they broke there, but we, we got the panel off, that's good. It seems like they've gone for the age old two screws in the middle of one side radiator mounting method, which is it's a bit of a brave move. I personally prefer the opposite corners tactic. No, he definitely could have used opposite corners, but whatever, it seems to have worked for him. Oh, that is a gross AIO. At this point, that's definitely affecting cooling performance right there. There is like a, a solid mat of dust blocking up this radiator. That is, <laughs> that's pretty gross. Okay, now we can easily remove the motherboard. This person has clearly gone to the David School of PC assembly because there are only four screws keeping the motherboard in place. Ooh. Um, it actually seems to not be a standard ATX width, so that's part of the reason why they only used four screws to keep it in place. Um, yeah, this should be, should be terrible to clean. Let's move on to, I don't know, the storage. Okay, there is drive number one. Come on, there you go. Ew. Ooh, there, there is a lot of spider house under this SSD. It actually seems to have really taken a liking to this SSD. That is a, that is a fat power supply right there. I am not entirely sure what I want to do with this. Um, because it's actually very dirty inside as well and uh, I don't want to have to open it and clean it. It is a thousand watt unit so there are some big ass capacitors in here that really want me dead so I, I don't really want to deal with that. I, I think that's the grossest power supply I've seen in a long time so uh, I'll, 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 I, I may just end up recycling and I'll see. I'll, I'll deal with that later. Oh, I'm so glad I've been wearing these Valida gloves. And here is our tiny little GTX 1060 die, surrounded by a whole bunch of neglect. Shiny. Now unfortunately, I've run out of this thickness of thermal pad, so I'm not going to replace them, which is a little bit savage, but it, it should be okay.
Now, I wouldn't say it's a shocking transformation, but it's definitely better than it was before. And going by the Q-tip graveyard, we definitely made some progress. Next up, it's time to clean the Mr. Fatality motherboard. And here we have our VRM heatsink nicely cleaned, and it's actually painted in this beautiful anodized red finish. It looks awesome. Now with the motherboard, you want to be really careful when wiping it down because there are a lot of very sensitive, just like surface mounted components that you don't want to damage. Um, so I think most of what I'm going to do in terms of cleaning the actual PCB is just going to be using compressed air on it. I feel like that's probably the safer way to go about it. And there we go, it's, it's pretty clean now. It's not the cleanest motherboard ever. It's not like, damn, that is now new, uh, but I think it's clean enough. Now the next bit's gonna be relatively easy. I'm just gonna clean up the RAM modules and the SSD. And just like that, we have essentially a brand new looking drive. All I had to do was wipe it down with some cleaning liquor and there you go. Um, so I'm just gonna do the same thing with the RAM. That cleaned up real nice. Okay, I'm gonna start with the fans before I tackle that heinous dust crime of an AIO. Now this is always the really irritating part about cleaning fans is that you have to do like one blade at a time. I always find it the most tedious part of a PC to clean. Now it's a lot cleaner than it was before. You can see there, uh, it's still not perfect. If I put some more time into this, I can definitely get it cleaner. But yeah, these are like, these are like really cheesy fans. So yeah, I'm just gonna replace them with something better. But yeah, so now that I've made my mind up on that, let me move over to the AIO. Okay, it's the moment of truth. We get to clean that. Um, not entirely sure how I'm gonna go about that because if I just kind of spray duster at it, it is going to asphyxiate me, and I don't really feel like <laughs> I don't really feel like dealing with that. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with just a a rag soaked in cleaning liquor, and then kind of start wiping up the majority of it. So this is definitely another harebrained idea a la David, but it's raining outside, so I can't go and film me dustering the thing outside. So I'm just gonna do it into a trash bag. Hopefully that's fine. Let's see what happens. Ah, gross! Wow, look at that. That just shot out pretty much across the table. Now I gave it a quick Google and apparently the next step in dealing with a radiator this disgusting is actually soaking it for a while in dish soap and water and then kind of using like a like a toothbrush and, and brushing all the grime out and then letting it dry. Now unfortunately I, I don't really have time for that. So it's a little bit lame but I'm gonna also replace the AIO. So at the end of the day we're just gonna be using the core components. With that let's, let's build the system and then see what kind of temperatures we get and and what it looks like and, and all that. And sadly, now that I've finished cleaning the system, I have to unfortunately take off my Valida gloves, which is a real shame, but they have kept my hands nicely fresh and comfortable. Thanks, Valida.
so we're done with the build and it looks really cool. It actually turned out really well. I did cheat a little bit by basically replacing everything aesthetic in the build, um, but it, it still turned out really well. Uh, now we just need to see if it works. I actually uh, was stupid and didn't test fire it before I started cleaning everything. Uh, so if it doesn't work now, I don't know if I broke it or he sold it to me broken. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's give it a try. That all sounds promising. It works, would you look at that? Um, yeah, let's do some temperatures and then we'll take it from there. Twenty minutes into a gaming session and the temperatures are immaculate. We are in the mid fifties on both the graphics card. What is this guy doing? Oh, okay, we're good. We're in the mid fifties on both the CPU and the graphics card, which is really awesome. Uh, unfortunately, the i5 is bottlenecking that 1060 quite quite aggressively. Now I did try and overclock it above that four gigahertz, but I couldn't get it stable any higher than that. Uh, I admittedly spent very little time on it but yeah that 4690k does not seem to want to overclock uh but yeah overall amazing temperatures and we're getting a solid battlefield 5 gaming experience at 1080p medium settings so at the end of the day it runs very well it's cool and relatively quiet and uh it doesn't look like a meth lab dumpster rat anymore so yeah that's exciting but other than that i don't really know what else to say so thank you very much for watching if you like the video do let me know down in the comment section below i may turn this into a series if there's enough interest which <laughs> definitely isn't a ripoff of Greg Salazar's content. Actually, on that note, uh, if you want to see someone really properly deep clean a system, I'd go check out his videos. I'll have one linked in the description below. And uh, yeah, other than that, thank you for watching. Bye bye. I actually really hate these Valida gloves. Anna, you're not supposed to film that.